Hey, all jokes aside, thank you so much for coming out here. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon here at Bezos Sewer and Power 96. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to our listeners. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, the amount of people that hit me up to ask me if it was a for sure definite that you were gonna be here yeah. and that they were gonna be able to like at least take a photo with you or like just shake your hand. I was like taken aback. Really? And I'll tell you why. Right. Because I believe in the scope of things, you're considered a new artist. Right. But your fan base is heavy. Yeah. Or as my Dominican friends would like to say, it's so heavy. heavy. Ta heavy. So when I got all this feedback via DMs and emails and phone calls and, and people genuinely excited that you were gonna be here, I was like, okay, because I was listening to um, the, I call it Six Zeros, and that's a song we've been playing for like the past couple of weeks on our show, yeah, really finished. hitting it, and like this vibe to it, and I remember one of the interviews he gave to Billboard recently, you're like on a whole other level, like you're thinking Bob Marley legend, you're thinking Adele, yeah, yeah. that's where your mind is, yeah. how the fuck are you going to get there? Man, sound like you don't believe I can get there. No, I believe you could get there. But how? How? How are you gonna like yo to say that you're gonna go legend? How? Well, first step. Is, how sway? The first step is I gotta finish this tea. <laughs> then I gotta do my vocal warm ups. Then I gotta have a good show, get a couple ten more fans, okay. and just keep going like that. Because I believe that your vocal progression, when you really decided, okay, I'm gonna take this seriously, I'm not gonna be as shy as I was, you you made that switch in 2015. Right. Yeah. But what inspired you to make the switch? What was it inside you? Because not everybody wants to be a singer, some people wanna be doctors, they wanna be lawyers, they wanna be on the radio, they wanna do certain things. What is it inside you that made you go, you know what? I'm no longer doing this the shy route. I'm gonna tell everybody I know how to sing. What was it inside you? Well, for me, I wanna write bigger songs. So for me to write bigger songs, I gotta sing better. It's that simple. You know, for me to make songs that like you're talking about, they have to be bigger, I gotta I gotta have a bigger vocal range. But I feel like beyond that, like I have a, I have such a crazy story to tell, like, I feel like I'm a I'm an immigrant that came here from Peru that is gonna pop off in a different way than any other artist has. Right now, what people are hearing commercially, whether it's Love and Hennessy or Six Zeros, is very surface to what I'm able, what I'm capable of doing. But those people who have called you, asking you if it's for real that I'm coming, because they know the depth of my work. The so they relate to the struggle? I don't know what they relate to. They can relate to the struggle, the sexiness, they can relate to the LA nights that could relate to my my compassion with being free from financial slavery. Like there's so many things I talk about. You know what I mean? But like for me it's about giving them my message and giving them my story and who I am as a person. So the way I think I get to that is by just being as transparent as possible, being me, keeping the talent going. Do you meditate? Hell no. You don't meditate at all. Is there anywhere that you go in your mind and your heart where you find these lyrics? Because I found it very interesting how you. I don't want to categorize it as a, as a Spanglish record, but sometimes artists, when they go the Spanglish route, it sounds like they're just forcing it on me. Yeah. It's like. Um, it's not peanut butter and jelly. And I. and Because that's the most delicious combinations, or guayaba con queso. You know what I mean? Like that's that combination. And when you sing, yeah. my friend, yeah. when you transition from English to Spanish, yeah. it's real seamless. It to is. where I don't know. That's how I talk. So. Yo entiendo, pero cómo es que tú pudiste, o sea, sincronizar eso en canciones? ¿Cómo lo pudiste hacer? Teniendo bolas. Teniendo bolas. Claro. Teniendo bolas. Chal, teniendo bolas, next album on deck, teniendo bolas. La bolas. So you're romantic. A little, yeah. Like hardcore. If I if I if I'm into the girl, if I really like her, hell yeah, that's rare. 
So a female in your life inspires the romance. You don't have to give me like, oh, that's my girlfriend. Because I feel that certain women throughout your life inspire romance. Yes. So who? Depends which, what, what month you're talking about. Okay, December. Because I gave you December because I was born in December. So. <laughs> I can't say her name. Okay. But, uh, well, was it about her that inspired the romantic or that that edge, that romantic edge, in during that period of your artistry? This past December? Yeah. Why not? And then I'm giving away songs of the album. I don't give a shit. But, but I was in a. You gotta give me something. I was in a situation with. Oh, I can't talk about this. Why? It was more than one person. That's fine. It was like a. I've been there. Three friends. Okay, I've been there. It was hard. No, it wasn't. It was not hard. No, no, he was hard. Listen, hey child, that's not what I meant to say. How, and then what is it? That you didn't know who to choose between them? Did the friendship nah, it diminish? Nah, it was just like... You know, like, you have a great course and then it's done. You eat it. Got it. And you move on. Well, yeah, because me, I'm not going to focus, I'm not, like, my priority is my objective as an artist, then it's my business, then it's, my family comes first, my family is first off top, but I'm saying, outside of that, those are the two things that come in, in hand. Okay. So, any person outside of my family that comes in there, like, I have to fully want to invest my future into it, it has to be serious, and if that's not that, then I'll, I'll have fun and have an honest relationship with them where we're being very clear about things, but I'm not going to like invest more than that, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like that's just where I'm at in my life. However, I will say that that's not really the case, that um, I definitely feel like I found someone that I can invest my future in. You found an anchor? Yeah, someone. Yeah. Two, two, bitch. Hey, <laughs> child. <laughs> One more question I want to ask you because I think that your progression as an artist has been something that I think when people look back, yeah. they're going to be like, oh, this kid has been doing this for a while, but you've been really strategic. Like the fact that you confess to being incredibly shy, not knowing whether to sing or not on a record, to me, that rings to me because as wild as I am on camera, behind, I'm not. I'm quiet. I'm, I hold things in. What is something that motivates you to, or what was that one thing that motivated you to be like, you know what, it's time for me to show these people that I know how to sing? That's a good question, that's a really good question, because it's true. What she's saying is true, like, if you listen to my first piece of work I ever put out, which was Ballroom Riots, which I don't even talk about. No, you don't. It's, it, 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 it was it's too production, too much producing. It's just producing. Yeah. Before that, you. all I was doing was remixing songs because I felt like as a Peruvian artist who was like me, who was like, he's not really a rapper, he's not really an R&B singer, he's just creative. The only person I had for inspiration was like a Pharrell and Kanye, because they just kind of broke the mold. Right. But I felt like as a Latin dude, people weren't ready for that. So I did what I could, you know, I started remixing songs that I like, whether it was Radiohead, Kanye, Rihanna. So I would, I would smoke my language. Radiohead and Kanye? What are we related? She's trying to hit on me now. Look, no, I'm not. So, so I, I, so I did that, right? So I did that, and then because that would go well, I started putting out my own versions of those songs, which were kind of like dancey R&B songs. Okay. I had one show, and I remember they booked me for that show, and I was. In theory, a DJ, because I was playing the songs off my laptop sure. and I was molding the songs at the same time. And I just felt so frustrated of having to be sitting at a table that I was like, I'm not doing this kind of music. I'm going to start doing vocals. Okay. So then I got signed as a songwriter producer and I started working with major songwriters and artists like J Lo. Um, and I learned so much from a songwriting to there. That I spent two years not putting out any music, just learning. And then once I learned that, um, I started using those things to do my own vocals on my own tracks. And then I put that out. The first thing I put out was Gazi that was like that. 
which were songs that people wouldn't buy off me that I was trying to sell. But don't you feel that you tend to fall into like this thing, like I, for example, Khalid at the moment is having, when he talks about his journey, it was like everybody wanted to like, you're an R&B artist, you're an R&B artist, you're an R&B, this is what you're supposed to do. And I feel that, I don't mean to put this on you, but I feel that you're gonna go through the same shit. Because I'm already, I'm already, I think I'm already passing that. Like, you're that's passing, passing that? that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I when I was studying you, I was listening to your music. I was really engaged by your artistry, and I think yeah. that there's certain artists like Khalid, and there's certain artists like uh, Kamazi Washington who does like jazz, and you fall into like this creative. Just see, yeah, they it's, do their own it's shit. Too, it's too out there, their own but. But I dress You're the creating. best. I still dress the best. You're creating the earworm, man. I get man. the most girls. You think so? And I get the most hair, the best hair. So. It is pretty good hair. So. But I'm, I'm excited for you, man. I'm excited for, for what's going to come that, your way. Because I believe in the artistry and I can't. I I'm, love I'm, that you're I'm, from look, Peru. Look, I love that you're Peruvian. I love it. I'm I, Cuban, I didn't choose but it, I love but it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It's amazing. I love it because there's nobody others who can vocally say, no. Yeah, it's so Peruvian. Soy peruano. Yeah. Me encanta eso. And everyone keeps eating our food. And it's the most delicious shit in the world. Credit, man. Yeah. I don't mean to plug anybody, but there's this place where my hook called Ishilima, and the chef is from Peru, and it's the bomb. Really? Like, yes, it's so good. It's like sushi meets ceviche meets like everything else. I might go there after. Yeah, you should. Um, thank you again. Thank you again for stopping by. It's really nice to meet you, and I'm really happy you're here for our fans, for your listeners, for everybody who's really this feeling. This really cool. I just, I just got back from Mexico City. I was finishing my album over there. Yeah. I heard that. You like your, when you went on tour and you got to touch all these different towns I'm and still, different I, cultures. That's still happening. I re, like, I might get a studio. I don't know. I haven't slept in two days now, so I may not, I may not be able to stay up for a studio, but... I hear that inspires you. It does. I love, like, I love culture. I'm a, like, first and foremost, I love art and culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... Right. That's what I love. Everything else is whatever to me. Like, as much as I love recognition and having fans and all that, like, I would be doing the same thing even if I didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? Love that. So. When is the album? When is the next single coming out? Where can people follow you? Because, you know, people want to keep tabs yeah. on you. Yeah. So you can go ahead and say that to our fans. Uh, a dot Chow on Instagram, because that's pretty much what everyone uses. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, Alejandro Chow. And then go to my website, gazi.worldgazi.world. I have merch there. I have all my links to all my music there, all the platforms. Are you doing cool shirts? Because I need one. Yeah, I am actually. Send me one. Can somebody send me a shirt? You like my Frida Kahlo? Oh, okay. I see. I see why you like my vibes. Frida's like, she's like, I'm like the male Frida. She's a reina. Are you sure about that? No, I don't know. You better grow those eyebrows. Thank you, HL. Uh, we're here at Beza Sur Power 96. It's been a pleasure and uh, good luck.